Shalom, my name is Raha Ernest and we have been looking into those scriptures which will change the course of your life. Scriptures that can turn your life around. And we started this year with the Sermon on the Mount. That's what Jesus taught in Matthew chapter 5, 6 and 7. And we know at the end of Matthew 7, Jesus said a person who has built his life upon the truth of this sermon is like a man or a woman that's built his house on the rock. That rain would pour, wind will blow and flood will come but that life will be standing still that house will be standing still on solid ground so we're in matthew chapter 6 verse 3 and this is what it says but when you do a charitable deed do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so Jesus is presenting an impossible situation here. Remember, you've got the same brain, the same mind. How can it send a signal, isolate a signal to the right hand without your whole body knowing what's going on? So Jesus is saying, doing the impossible. If you want a reward that comes from heaven, heavenly reward, give in secret, but it has to be so secret that your left hand wouldn't know. And the only way your left hand wouldn't be able to know is if you've got a different kind of mind. Let's read 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16. What does it say? Who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. That's what happens when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You receive the mind of Christ. And when you have that mind, what is impossible in the natural becomes possible. In the natural, with the same brain, with the same mind, you cannot send a signal to your right hand without your left hand knowing what's going on. But with the mind of Christ, that is possible. And we know in Romans chapter 12, Paul went on to say, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's Romans 12 verse 2. So once your mind is renewed, you have the mind of Christ and your mind get renewed in the process that happens when you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, when he is the king of your heart. That's when all things are possible. So it's Matthew chapter 6, verse 3. That's the scripture for today.